Ain't no way we're here, guys. We did it. We've gone full villain arc, and it's time to embrace it with one of Warframe's most notorious enemies. Now, all we need is permanent radiation status applied to Stalker, so we can one-shot all of our teammates, and the cycle is complete. I mean, maybe four was onto something. Look at them. The very paradox has brought us a playable Stalker, and after all of those dev streams watching DE and Vay players, I genuinely thought we would never get our hands on him. Yep. Yeah. Here we are. Up next, ballast gameplay with Stretch Armstrong Noodle slapping and some ass clapping. Alrighty then, let's go ahead and cover what you need to know. How do you unlock Stalker? Well, the Stalker can be unlocked as a chance to play as one of your five randomly given Warframes within the Daviri Paradox update. Any of the three missions that you go and select, the Circuit, the Daviri Paradox experience, or even the Lone experience, he can have a chance of being played within them. However, you will need to have unlocked the rank 10 within your opportunity intrinsics first. Now do go and keep in mind when you reach rank 10 within your opportunity intrinsics, reload Teshin's cave area. So basically leave and just rejoin. I believe that he will guarantee as a playable character for your next mission. So take the time to enjoy him then because after this, he'll be like all other Warframes and it will just be random when he appears. What does his abilities do? Well then let's go and start off with his passive. He gains a 300% increase to critical chance to your weapons. Uh, when not seen by enemies. So this pairs really well with his third ability, but we'll get to that in a moment. His first ability is teleport. And to put this simply, this is literally Ash's teleport ability. You'll use this as a finisher move, like an execute. You'll teleport behind those enemies, executing them, and you can combo this with Stalker's second ability for some great AoE damage output. His second ability is called Mart. Now this is the Helminth ability marked for death. You'll place your reticle over a target then activate your ability to stun that one enemy that you placed it over. Then whatever damage that you do to this enemy, killing it, will spread over to nearby enemies. This pairs really well with his first ability, as I mentioned earlier. Stalker's third ability is Smokescreen. This is also Ash's Smokescreen ability, and this is what we will pair well with his passive. So you'll cover yourself in a cloud of smoke, rendering Stalker invisible to enemies. This is your main way to survive, especially during the circuit game mode and it pairs dramatically with the stalker concept so i do actually like this ability on him and finally we have stalker's fourth ability called punishment now this is a combination of nix's absorb ability meets garuda's seeking talons ability so to start off with you'll be absorbing any incoming damage and from there, if you recast the ability, you will send out amplified damage from all of the projectiles that hit you back outwards with plenty of slash output. So it will go without saying that his ability kit is something that most of us that's been playing for quite some time should be able to recognize and adapt to because Stalker, we understand these abilities. We reflect to the Warframes that we've already played before within the game. Now, personally, I wouldn't have minded some different animations for his abilities, especially the punishment one. But at the end of the day, it clearly looks like he was added in for some fun and overall he's a good option to pick whenever the chance arises so what about his mods well i'm sure you saw them on the screen and right now you cannot actually alter these or modify stalker it's all a loner kit and i will confidently state though that is a very good lineup of mods that they gave to us ideally i would love the option to modify him in the future for a different build but do you know what as of right now we can work with it how should i use him during combat so the rotation that i would start off with is first to use his his third ability for invisibility providing you with protection and also increasing your critical chance due to his passive so that's already a good start right there with synergy now do go and keep in mind because of his passive he works wonders with critical builds enhancing them further so try to pick the random weapons that pop up during your selection in teshin's cave to factor in critical builds and synergize them further with the stalker combination from there it's open to how you want to play him personally there's some good synergy with his second and first abilities in order this will stun an enemy then you'll teleport to that enemy execute that unit and deliver out the aoe damage around you with decrees within the very paradox you can end up nuking things around you and that's always been something fun to do but otherwise his marked ability is even useful on its own and not using other abilities you can finish enemies off with big weapon damage and also spread out that AoE to nearby enemies. As for his punishment ability, this can be fun to spam or even use defensively. 
So for the spam route, you'll be needing some decrease to help with energy efficiency. It is quite costly to do so. Otherwise, the better efficiency you have or the more energy return that you have, the more that you can spam this ability, self-explanatory. You can send dots out all over the place, so it's actually worth spamming. Or you can prefer to use him defensively. And if you are near death, then quickly hit your uh, fourth ability to channel it and absorb incoming damage. This will give you some safety until you find another route out of the troubles that you're currently in or if a teammate comes to your rescue. Soccer is definitely worth playing and I do recommend to get your opportunity intrinsics to 10 regardless. But keep in mind that I don't think he's the best option if you own all of the other Warframes because although he is fun and good at what he does, if I wanted to kill a Warframe, I have plenty of other better choices in my arsenal to choose from. It's just whether or not those choices appear in Teshin's cave at the same time Stalker does. Otherwise, I'm going Stalker, baby! What do you guys think about Stalker so far? Do you think it was a good idea to add him as a playable character? character genuinely no like genuinely guys if we could get more gimmicks like this what other characters would you like to add in? Maybe the playable Teshin from the new war? Go full hammer swing build with Lieutenant Krill? Or let's be honest, let's pick what we all want and add in some of that juicy Cole 175 gameplay. Wow! 